Las Vegas, the ultimate adult playground. A place where bad decisions are wisdom and luck is such a commodity that she even has a name. They call you Lady Luck. Lady Luck, the mythical, unattainable symbol of Vegas. She's seductive, alluring, enthralling, and she nearly ruined me. My relationship with Sin City started very innocently. I started a job with an airline and suddenly I had travel benefits. You're hired. Being able to fly free was like having superpowers. Except I didn't have to fight crime. This is awesome. I used my newfound superpowers to fly to Vegas every once in a while. To do the usual Vegas stuff. Fine dining. Performing arts. And of course, I gambled. It was harmless fun, and I never did anything to excess, but whenever I actually won a few bucks, it was a pretty good rush. The best part was, I was never in town long enough or often enough for any of this to actually become an issue. Until I moved to Vegas. Suddenly, I had unlimited access to a sea of casinos, and I was not about to miss out. Things started out great. I walked into a casino, played a few hands of blackjack, and I won. I thought I had this town completely figured out. I was going to stop working altogether and be a high roller. Unfortunately, Lady Luck had other plans for me. I discovered that I wasn't actually prepared for the possibility of losing money. Sorry, love. You'll get them next time. <laughs> My problem started when I started chasing losses. Let's go again. Absolutely. I'll stay. Dealer has 19. Damn! This just turned my losses again into even bigger losses. Yes! 20! Stay! Oh no. Dealer has blackjack. Shit! Again! Okay. Yes! Ha ha! 21! Give me my money! <laughs> That's 23. Mother f <laughs> Suddenly, this town that I once found so charming and seductive now had its stiletto heel firmly planted in my neck while stripping me of my dignity as well as my cash. Give me your money. And just like many toxic relationships, she gave me just enough hope to keep me from leaving. Here you go, Mr. Lucky. So, do you want to play again? Okay. But hope always turned into crap. Dealer has blackjack. After a while, Lady Luck didn't even pretend to like me anymore. She was openly hostile all the time. Hey! Money! Now! See you tomorrow. As my bank account dwindled and my credit card debt grew, things got bad, really bad, to the point where I had trouble just paying my bills. And fine dining took on a completely new meaning. It was becoming clear that I was developing a serious problem. Shut up! I gamble to relax! March Madness, the big dance. It all comes down to one shot. One team will have championship glory. It's just a matter of who wants it more. I tried switching from blackjack to sports betting, but that only made things worse. Who you got on this one? Oh, you. If they make this free throw, I win. Oh yeah, you got this. It seemed like the players in every game that I happened to bet on were somehow conspiring against me. Mitchell's at the free throw line, ready to shoot, and he needs to check his Instagram, I guess. Uh, kind of a weird in-game ritual. Okay, he appears to be ready. This one's for the championship. The shot is up. 
and it's no good off the rim. If you bet on OU, it sucks to be you. My life really started to suck, and my heartless mistress was giving me zero breaks. She completely killed my social life. Hello? Yo, what's up, man? Oh, really? Yeah, I could be there around- Ahem! No, you're with me tonight. But I was just Are gonna- Are you really gonna make me say it again? No. I can't go. Finally, when she had gotten my last dollar, she just tossed me aside, like a cup of spoiled yogurt. What am I supposed to do with this? You're useless. I'm done with you. Wait! What do you want? Can't we just hang out? <laughs> You've got nothing that I want, and I have others that do, so... Others? But I thought we were... <laughs> Did you really think you were the only one? Wow, broke and stupid. Call me when you have what I'm looking for. I lost my money and my self-respect. I had nothing and felt like less than nothing. I couldn't believe that something so bright could be so dark. But Lady Luck did not kill me. And I told myself, as long as I'm breathing, I can make the money back. All I have to do is not die and stop gambling. Slowly, I began to rebuild. I started working as much as possible. This not only increased my income, but kept me out of the casinos. And just like anyone who emerges from a bad relationship, I stayed away from Lady Luck and her seductive, destructive ways. I still run into her every once in a while, but now, I can just look right through her and go on with my life. <laughs>